My fridge likes to make some amount of fucking noise. What's your problem, fridge? Shut up. Creak, crack, groan, groan, creak, crack, groan. Twat. <laughs> So before we get into this week's video guys, I just want to give a massive shout out to the names that you're seeing on the screen just now. These people support me on Patreon and if you want to support me on Patreon as well, the links will be in the video description below. Before just now, let's get on to this week's vlog. Hey there lads and lads, this is Walsker bringing you another vlog and today we're going to be diving into some Scottish mythology. Now I used to do videos like this, but that was ages ago and the videos are so bad, so I'm redoing a lot of them. <laughs> Plus it's just really good to bring back old Scottish legends that have kind of gone a mess. Now, before we get started on this video though, I do want to just bring to your attention a massive project. And this is where I pray to God, all the Scottish beings, all the Scottish mythology, God, lore, whatever, that I get the pronunciation of this right and if not then Fraser who is the creator is going to absolutely kick my ass. The origins of Leoish. Now they did say in the email that was how you pronounced it but you know what it's like in an email. Very hard to tell. It's an indie Scottish project that they are going to eventually try and take to the likes of Netflix, Amazon Prime or really anywhere to try and get it greenlit for an actual series. It is going to be set in Scotland and it's going to be all about a girl that has to battle Scottish mythology creatures very in keeping with today's video. So why am I bringing it up to you guys? Well, it is at the moment still being created, it's still being thought of, it hasn't been greenlit for anything yet, but they really are hoping to push this project forward. And having done a bit of research into them because I wouldn't have promoted this as a cause unless I'd done my research, these guys are kind of legit. They're really trying to push for it. And actually, what they're looking for is they're looking for backers right now. So I'm gonna leave links in the video description down below so you guys can go and check out everything. It's so hard to tell you guys exactly what it is about, so I'm gonna let them do some of the talking. My name is Michael J. Warren, and I am the uh, owner and director of Strike Fight Company. Uh, we are uh, an elite team of actors um, with specialized stage combat training. Um, so we do classes, workshops, as well as fight choreography and direction services for stage and screen. So um, our role in Origins is that we are um, choreographing and directing the fights um, for the sizzle reel, we are directing the fights between um, uh, Effie and the, uh, one of the creatures. <laughs> Effie is like a mixture between Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Merida from Brave. I think Effie Dwyer is epic because she is just everything that I love. In a heroine. Today I was doing some fight training with Strike Fight Company and it was amazing. Really good fun. She is terrifying. I was terrified start to finish and that is a good thing, trust me. Everyone should support Origins because it's going to be such a cool project. It's going to showcase Scotland in all its glory and even more. Um, there's just a bunch of very passionate and talented people working on it and if we get lots and lots of support then we can make something very, very cool. So they've set up a stretch goal of 8,000, which I think they've just recently met to make sure that they can afford everything for a three day shoot. And I do believe last time I spoke to these guys, they had actually started doing the shoot. They're wanting to get together some scenes and some characters and some things that they can take to production companies. If they hit 9,000, they're gonna get David Ferguson to create a 10 page digital comic based around the mythology of the show. And if they hit 10,000, it's gonna allow them to hire a Scottish or Gaelic band to record a song to go along with the concept trailer and maybe even make a music video as well. So the more money that they get, the more they're gonna be putting back into this project because it's something that they really, really believe in. And having done some research with these guys is something I really believe in too. They've already got a lot of other Scottish companies on board with this. They're working with the Gaelic consultant for Outlander as well, which is outstanding. Now I'm gonna leave the gentleman's name on the screen because if I was to try and say it, I'd butcher his name. I'm not a linguist expert, especially not when it comes to Scots or Gaelic, and I don't pretend to be at all. I'm really not. So even I get stuff wrong. They've even got Debbie Moon, who's an award-winning writer and creator, and she's going to be their executive producer. 
Backing this project doesn't mean that it's going to be successful. It doesn't mean that we are going to get it on Netflix as a TV show. That's not what it means. What you're essentially backing here is a chance for a Scottish company to actually make its mark. We know from Outlander how successful things set in Scotland can be, and a programme all about Scottish mythology and lore sounds epic to me. And so I'm so invested in this project and I'm very much excited for it. And in fact, my uh, 75,000 subscriber milestone that I'm about to hit, I'm gonna be doing a live stream for that and for my 30th birthday at the same time because I'll probably still be in lockdown for my birthday because it looks like Scotland's about to go back into lockdown. But anyway, that's a whole thing. Any, any money I make from any of these videos, part of the proceeds are going to be going towards this project because it is something that I absolutely believe in as well. I'm really excited, hopefully you guys are as well. Like I say, all the information down below but let's talk some Scottish mythology. Now I cannot guarantee that these creatures will be included in this series. Hopefully they will, I think one of them is. And we're gonna start off with one of my absolute favorite Scottish legends because it's not one many people actually know about. And I'm probably gonna say his name wrong, okay? So uh, if we do have Fraser watching or you know maybe the person who does the Gaelic, feel free to correct my pronunciation on this one. I'm calling it the Sousith. It is spelt like this. It is a large wolf that was said to be the size of a bull in the Scottish Highlands. And just like everything in Scottish mythology, it's not a nice being, you know? It's, it can't just be the, the, the friendly neighborhood dog who like gets tummy rubs and stuff, no. Definitely not, which is such a pay. Could you imagine something the size of that like bounding towards you? But anyway, it was said to have fur that was emerald green or deep green with a braided tail. And the tail was said to be braided with like leaves and vines and like things of the Highlands. To be fair, if somebody's going to die at the hands of this beast, how are they meant to explain what it looks like? Who knows? Whenever it would go out to hunt, it would let out three bays. And on the third bay, if you had not found shelter, it was said that you would die of fright. So again, one of those really nice, friendly, friendly creatures, right? This creature, which I am dubbing the Sue Sith, and I'm probably saying it wrong, and any Gallic experts in the comments are going to go, oh my gosh, you say this so wrong. Like I said, feel free to correct my pronunciation down in the comments down below. Next up, this one I do know how to say because we do talk about them a lot in Scottish mythology and if you do look up any Scottish mythology you've probably already heard several stories of these guys. These are the Scottish Kelpies. Now these have a special place in my heart because in the UK we have these young girl groups that you used to go to after school and ours was called the Brownies and then you would go, you've been the brownies for a certain age group and then when you were too old you would go into the guides and you know you had to go out, I think it's a bit like the scouts in America perhaps where you have to go and like you would get a guide book, you'd have to do things in the guide book to get badges and you would collect badges on your sash and you would have a uniform that you had to wear. The brownies that I was in, the brownies that I went to, we had several different group names and my group was actually called the Scottish Kelpies. I think I really understood at that age of what a Scottish Kelpie was because I don't think I'd sleep at it if I did. A Kelpie is actually a horse. It's a horse demon and they are said to live in lakes and lochs and when they would come out they were said to be so incredibly beautiful. A horse of water with like seaweed and things in its hair but it was said to be such a beautiful horse that anybody who saw it wanted to try and ride it but the minute they got on its back an adhesive would stick them to its back so they couldn't get off and it would then drag them into the water to drown and devour them because everything in Scotland loves you. I wonder if a lot of our lore is just based off of midges because I feel like that's what midges do, right? They breed, they come up from the water as larvae, they become flies, they fly around, they kill everybody and then you go back to the war. There's so much Scottish lore in the world that it's unreal and and so many great ghost stories and so much mythology. Those two are my absolute favourites to talk about. I absolutely love the idea of where they even came from. The other thing that I think a lot of people have probably heard of, not maybe know a lot about, there's lots of stories about these guys as well and lots of different accounts for how they came into being. I feel like they're very strongly linked to the Irish fairy lore. But it is a change line and there is so many different types of stories about these guys across 
lots of European countries, so many European countries. Now I do think it is a type of fairy like demon, but a changeling is, it was said to be a child abductor. It would leave its child in place of a human child and would take the human child away. And then you would be left raising one of these demon-like babies that was slowly drawing its life force from you. I think maybe there might have been a supernatural type episode about this actually, where the children went missing. I think it may have been. I just think that Scotland's got such great mythology. These are some of my favourites. I've not gone into too much detail upon each of these. I'm pretty sure there's so much great stories and lore and everything out there, but I just wanted to give you three that you could potentially go and have a little look up, see a little bit more about them. And if you'd like to learn more about some of these stories or mythology or whatever let me know in the comment section down below because I do really enjoy doing these types of videos and I'm absolutely all up for sitting and researching something like this that I absolutely love. Don't forget all the links as well are going to be down below for you guys to help out the origins of Leowish. Again I'm hoping I'm saying that right. But what about you? What's your favourite Scottish mythology? Your favourite Scottish legend? Is there any you would like me to look up and learn a little bit more about? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me because it really helps me out and don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're new to this channel because it's free to subscribe to a YouTube channel and I put up a new video every single week. You can check out some of my social medias appearing down below and don't forget to follow me on them and you'll see some of my other videos appearing down here and my ladder last of the week right over there. But that's all I've got time for today so I will see you guys next week with another vlog and until then, haste you back guys. <laughs>